Welcome to Bedroom Color to Enhance Calm and Happiness episode. This episode is the second one in the series on bedroom decor to elevate your emotional well-being. In this video, I will talk about bedroom wall colors and how different colors can create different feelings and different experiences in the bedroom. We will start with a brief discussion of trends. Then we will move to the colors that can enhance a sense of peace and calm. Later, we will explore colors that will skew a feeling of happiness and even show which colors foster a sense of love. We will also see some example of bedroom colors that are flat and unemotional and colors that bring agitation and even contribute to depression. My name is Natalia Kalin. Welcome to my channel. Whether you want to feel healthy, vibrant, relaxed, productive, or just happy, your environment can be a powerful ally. According to modern physics, each color is a different wavelength of light. And these different wavelengths of uh, light interact with our brain and produce a different effect, evoking different emotions and different states of mind. So if we understand how color can influence us, we can choose the color to design our experiences or how we want to feel in a bedroom. We can choose the bedroom color that's right for us. So let's dive in. I'm going to start with trends. We are at the end of a trend which I personally call decade of grayness. Numerous articles and studies have emerged discussing how this trend was created by HGTV promoting neutral gray environments to builders and home flippers. Why gray? Because gray, comparing to the previous beige trend, signals to a buyer that home has been recently renovated. This trend spread to homeowners, and now many people ended up with gray walls in every room, including bedrooms. Often it's not only gray walls, but gray floors, gray rugs, and gray art. One of the recent studies on how gray colors affect us was discussed in a Washington Post article, HGTV is making our homes boring and us sad. This is a fun read. The link is below if you'd like to check it out. So it's good. Hopefully we are at the end of the gray decade and especially gray bedrooms. And I'm not entirely against the gray walls. There are a few beautiful shades of gray that I love and uh, there is a place for it in some homes and in some rooms. If they are well uh, complemented with other colors and uh, natural materials, it can be quite nice. But speaking of trends, guess what is the trend for the bedroom colors for this year? It's completely opposite. It's very bold and very bright. This is from Better Home and Gardens website. Really? Do you really want your bedroom to look like this? This looks to me like a color binge or color on steroids. As you can see, the trend swings to another extreme. Or this example from Cosmopolitan website. This is what happened when people finally agree that grays are depressing. They had plenty of opportunities, I guess, to discover this during COVID work from home years. Well, you got the idea. Trends are interesting to know about, and if you're sensitive towards trending, you might want to implement some of it in areas of your home where other people see it, but you don't have to do it in your bedroom. Bedroom is your personal space, and it's the best place to do what you want, to what makes you happy, and your partner, of course, too. Relaxed, inspired, or loved. You choose. Now let's talk about colors that can enhance a feeling of calm and relaxation. Many people associate relaxation with blue. Blues are beautiful and are very calming to the nervous system. Blues are associated with the sky and water and a state of tranquility and peace. But what kind of blues? There are hundreds of beautiful blues. There are 10 of these pages of blues on Benjamin Moore website and hundreds from other companies. From my experiences, these blue, green, gray colors work really well in bedrooms. They are muted, they are warmer, and therefore they are more soothing. Keep in mind, 
When you put a color on the wall, it will look much brighter than it looks on the color sample. You can see this beautiful blue-green-gray color in this bedroom. If you compare the previous picture with this very light blue, it just doesn't quite cut it. It's colder and it's not enough substance in this light blue, not quite enough to produce an influence or emotion. If you look at this room with saturated blue walls, it's beautiful and it might feel inspiring to some people, but it's not relaxing or soothing comparing to the first room. Depending on the lighting in your bedroom, quiet moments or beach glass are my favorite bedroom colors. They will produce this effect of peace and calm, but also warmth and comfort. They really do create a very tranquil feeling in the room. Another one of my favorite bedroom colors is uh, gossamer blue. It is a little bit of a punchier color than quiet moments or beach glass. It has more energy in it. It's very beautiful on the walls. Ocean air is a good option as well. And uh, Caribbean teal is a gorgeous color. If you really love deep saturated blue, Consider painting an accent wall. It would work much better than painting the entire room in such a bold color. If you like blues but prefer more neutral walls, so then you can certainly incorporate blues in art, accessories or bedding, which we will talk about in the next episodes. The next group of colors I would like to talk about are greens. Green hues are associated with nature and renewal. They bring a sense of harmony and they are more uplifting than blues or neutrals. And when I say green, I don't mean something saturated like this. This is a beautiful color, but it does feel like it's too much for a bedroom color. And if you lean toward more conservative or traditional choices, a sage green might be a good one for you. It's almost gray, but it's so much better than gray. It has a certain sense of naturalness or connection with nature. You may like this cool sagey green, misted green from Benjamin Moore. And if you do feel that you need more vibrant and refreshing energy, consider lighter greens. The colors that work very well for me and my clients are Nantucket Breeze and uh, Dried Parsley. A very dark green accent wall might be interesting to consider. And if you don't like green walls, but still want some vibrancy and feeling of freshness, then images of plants and nature would work well for you, which we will address in the next episodes. The next group is really special. They're earthy tones, but unlike boring beige or tan, they have some amount of pink or coral in them, which creates a happy and inviting vibe. Many of my clients really love it, surprisingly even men. I call this group of colors adult pinks. These colors feel very cozy and they influence you in a way that makes you feel loved. So if you want to bring more joy into your life and infuse loving energy into your relationship aspect, consider these colors. There are beautiful images from Sherwin Williams. I really like this accent wall in likable sand. The next color red and point was named the color of the year 2023. I think it's pretty special, maybe too much for the entire room, but an accent wall would be gorgeous. Similar colors from Benjamin Moore that my clients uh, loved over the years are light mocha and cappuccino. Beige is becoming more popular now because people are getting tired of cold grays. Beige is actually much more appropriate for a bedroom color uh, because it's warmer. It has this earthy quality which makes people feel comfortable and more relaxed. Earth tones produce a feeling of security and comfort. And some people might just simply need that. However, I keep saying that beige can be boring on its own if not complemented by other colors. A subtle pink color of the bedding here makes a difference. Suddenly the room has something interesting. There is a certain emotion here. In this room, beige walls are complemented with orange colors, 
which creates some energy boost in otherwise monochromatic environment. Cell cloth, edgecomb gray and limestone are some of my favorite neutral bedroom colors. Hope you enjoyed our exploration of bedroom colors and ready to apply this to create a feeling of calm, peace, balance and joy. Remember that the most important part is to tune in and feel what your body needs and what makes your soul happy. Please let me know in the comments below which color resonated with you more and which less. And if you know why, please write that down as well. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. The next episode is Bedroom Furniture Optimizing Placement for Peace and Balance. Thanks for watching.